But uh, during the years to come after Dortmund, you won a lot of championships, yeah. both single and uh, and also yeah. as a team. Yeah. Tell us about the, the memories. What do you remember of those, of those the time? '89. I mean, from '89 to '92, it was nearly perfect. It, it, I played all good all the time, and I was in, in the next final again against Persson, and I won with him '89. '92, I won the single uh, in Olympics. And after that, I won nearly all tournaments uh, I played after that, so it was a really good time. I think it was my best time. I think physically, I was, uh, as my best shape was uh, 92. Now it's Apple calling. He's, maybe he heard something I spoke about him, you know. Okay. Shit, then it's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, but uh, I think physically, I was best uh, 92 also. Uh, I was practicing really hard for this uh, Olympic Games. The Olympic so Games, nice. of course, it's 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 such a mega event, and you beat Gatchang in the final. Can you tell us uh, about the final, the feeling, and and the memories you have from it? I, I, I like I said before the match. I say I had a really good chance to win. And I, I, I played always good against him, but the thing was that he was coming from free two, free two, free two. He won so tight match, and I was more clear when I would come to the final. And my feeling was already in the third set, please win now, otherwise it can be this long one and then it's really, really hard to beat him because if you have so much confidence, if you win 3-2 all the time, and if he win f third set, I won't be sure, but if he win the third set, I think maybe the four first will start to think and then probably it's, it's a uh, last set and then it will be really tough because mentally he was, I think Philou was one of the top five best players, I think, mentally. So it was really important that I could have won the third set there. Looking back at your career, is it something you're not so happy about? Mm. I, I will not say like this, because it's a little bit strange if I sit and say, oh, I, have so, I was not so lucky. And, yeah. I mean, with the results, it's difficult to say something. Oh, of course. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm not this type of guy. I'm mm -hmm. always looking forward. So I know I'm happy with everything. And also, that I lost sometimes, this was really important for me, some big finals. Otherwise, probably I was, I would not practice so hard like I did after. Mm -hmm. And it starts really good for me, 82. I was so happy to play the final. I won two sets against Apoya in this final and I, I said to him many times, thank you that you beat me because this helped me in the future, I think. If I win when I'm 16 years old, what else you, is I mean, <laughs> then it started to be a little bit stupid. Uh -huh. And so I, when I lost there and, I, and also that I didn't win, you know, European Championships, Apple beat me one time in one semi-final 90, this was also really good for me. Otherwise, then I, I had something to for practice to win uh -huh. European Championships and then I won it, so it was good, I think. So Sometimes I, it's good to lose. Yes, but I was not, just gonna, but not often. <laughs> not often, and not the finals. Not, not the, the finals. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the, final because then you won't win next time. That's also. true. So it's okay uh -huh. or something. Uh, the, a big lesson to learn, all you youngsters yeah. out there. You finals need is not to, too bad. Right, you need to lose sometimes yes. in order to be the champion, the number one. Then you're more hungry. 